All new at five, a deadly shooting at a Charlotte gas station raising questions about when it's legal to use lethal force. Those new questions after two armed robbery suspects were shot yesterday, including 16 year old Quateris Stafford. He died from his injuries. Police say a customer with a concealed carry license shot Stafford and the other suspect, 17 year old Brenna Harris. Harris was arrested nearby and now facing multiple charges. Now CMPD is investigating whether it was a case of self defense. NBC Charlotte's Alex Shabbat is following several angles of this story for us this evening. He's live at the jail. Alex, you've learned both suspects were just in jail recently. That's right, Fred. We've been we've learned both suspects were arrested just last month on the same day and for the same charge. Today, one of them was scheduled here in court. The other is dead. I got one shot. This is the scene after an armed robbery turned deadly in the early morning hours. But police say it was one of the two teenagers committing the crime that got the worst of it. They had one shot at the store there. Two men came in trying to rob the store and a customer shot one of the suspects. Police say 16-year-old Quantera Stafford first robbed a customer and then tried to hold up the store clerk. That's when investigators say the customer pulled out his gun, which he had concealed and carried, and shot the suspects. The patron um, felt or perceived an imminent deadly threat. Stafford died from his injuries. The other suspect, 17-year-old Brenna Harris, ran away and was arrested at an apartment a couple miles away. CMPD is now investigating whether it was a case of self-defense. Everybody has to make their own decision whether their life is in danger or not. We looked into North Carolina's Stand Your Ground law. It says deadly force is justified if a person believes there's an imminent threat to their life or someone else's. Criminal defense attorney Melissa Owen said the law applies for intruders entering a home or business. There is a presumption that you are in reasonable fear. That said, I think that people need to be very careful in using force. NBC Charlotte has learned both teenagers were just arrested on the same day for the same charge last month, accused of being in possession of a stolen vehicle. Today, Harris was scheduled to be back in court facing charges of robbery with a dangerous weapon, attempted robbery, and conspiracy to commit robbery. And Harris has been released from jail to the custody of an adult. His next court hearing is scheduled for August 26th. Live in Uptown, Alex Shabad, NBC Charlotte.